Magandang hapon po, Ginoong Pangulo. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Magsisimula na po ang ating uh, talakayan sa hapon ito. Ang unang tanong ay magmumula kay Mia Gonzales ng Business Mirror, Pangulo ng Malacanang Press Corps. Mia? Good afternoon, sir. Sir, what is your message to Hong Kong nationals who are enraged by the government's handling of the hostage-taking incident, as well as the Filipinos in Hong Kong who are now bearing the brunt of that outrage? Well, we understand the outrage that uh, they're express they expressing at the current time. Uh, they're a relatively small community. This has uh, obviously a very big impact on everybody there. So we understand that there is that, that sense of outrage you know, and the anger that emanates from that sense of outrage. We ask uh, for their understanding. We are correcting deficiencies that we have noted in the implementation of our uh, operating procedures. Um, and uh, none of us wanted this outcome. You know, and we'd like to emphasize the fact that primary consideration was on trying to secure all of the hostages. Hence, uh, you know, the degree of control in not responding arbitrarily by, by our police forces, amongst other things. And uh, that message was reiterated to them by me throughout the course of the day. You know, the idea that uh, you know, a forced assault would be the last option that we would employ, and only if there was a harm uh, detected on any of the hostages. In the Filipinos, um, we did communicate yesterday with uh, the chief executive of the special uh, administrative region, Mr. Donald Chang, and we explained to him um, the course and chronology of the events that transpired, and that um, we expressed our sorrow and our grief at the outcome of it. Uh, there were several requests that we had attended to even prior to the request being made, and uh, we begged them for their understanding of uh, the outcome of the situation. Willard Chen. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, there are so many hate comments going around, especially on Facebook, with Hong Kong people accusing the government and the PNP of incompetence, mm -hmm. and with others calling on <coughs> you to step down, with the rest, uh, number two, even calling you a dog for having seen smiling in the press conference in the crime scene hours after the hostage crisis ended. What's your reaction to this, sir? You know, my, my smile might have been misunderstood. No? You know, there are you have several expressions. I smile when I'm happy. I smile when I'm ha faced with a very absurd situation where I cannot vent my own emotions. I have to keep my emotions in check. And if I've offended certain people, I apologize no, to them. Obviously, the, there was no joy in uh, attending to that situation, more the absurdity of the matter. And why the absurdity? When my mother was president, the PSG demonstrated the capability of uh, successfully uh, resolving a bus hostage situation. Yung bus hostage rescues are a common staple of uh, special operations capable teams throughout the world. There was an expectation that the, uh, the appropriate forces would be utilized for this, no? who have been trained. And again, let me emphasize, no? Yung, the expectation was there um, close to 25 years ago was when they, they demonstrated before us. That was the first time I ever saw it. So we have had so many similar situations. One individual that are uh, uh, taking hostage several people that have been resolved successfully throughout uh, the history of our country. And when it actually transpired, you know, when we had that assault team using sledgehammers, having difficulty uh, breaching the bus, in, you know, parang I was really touched by s the absurdity of the situation. This thing shouldn't have happened. No? And more an expression, siguro, of uh, exasperation rather than anything. And again, I apologize if I offended certain people who misunderstood uh, the facial expression on my face. Norman Bordadora, PDI. Uh, good morning, Mr. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. President. Uh, the Philippine government has given uh, the Hong Kong side assurances of cooperation in the investigation. Um, have we asked, uh, in return, have we asked them for any assurance that uh, Filipino workers and tourists in Hong Kong would be safe? I think it went without saying. You know, when uh, the chief executive uh, and I had our conversation, he did mention a 20,000 strong population there. And uh, if I remember correctly, they understood that they would be taken care of. We had received reports that there is, at least from his end, uh, scaling down of the rhetoric that is being expressed at this current time. On our part, 
we understand the grief no, that uh, produces the sense of outrage and uh, the anger that emanates from uh, as an expression of the grief that they're experiencing. And of course, uh, we are, uh, we, we hope no, we could have done better, but there is uh, the tragic loss of life and we will have to bear uh, accepting this anger because it is, and then no, inventing it out will be healthy to the relations of both, uh, both our country and the special administrative region and as well as the country of the People's Republic. Thank you, sir. Jenaline Kabiling, Manila Bulletin. Hello, Mr. President. Sir, how soon will the government hold the dialogue with the media groups concerning parameters on coverage during crisis situations? And will you now con reconsider your position on imposing news blackout during critical situations? Well, as I said, no, we are trying to put um, con seemingly conflicting principles no, into unity I mean, amongst them. As you know, uh, the Constitution forbids uh, prior censorship. We uphold the, the right of the citizenry to be informed of uh, actions and matters and policies that will affect them. That is a constitutional provision. At the same time, the state is duty-bound to protect every citizen. Obviously, there are a lot of uh, instances if it's uh, unbridled coverage that uh, hamper the operations of our security forces. In, we will work it out with you as soon as possible. Uh, actually, we're discussing with uh, Secretary Karandang this afternoon uh, setting up all of these meetings to come up with parameters that hopefully everybody will abide to. And, uh, but at this present time, I'm very, very inclined no, to err on the side of protecting everybody and risk uh, having to face charges of prior censorship rather than put anybody at risk. And I hope you understand that uh, first, in security of everybody, there is a tendency in, in the colloquial no, of people being usicero. No, and um, the media really has to scramble for their stories. But there has to be um, a reconciling of that need with the idea of securing everybody and not complicating tense situations even further. Okay. Roy Sibal, ABS, ABC5. Hi, sir. An opposition congressman um, is calling for the resignation of Secretary, uh, DILG Secretary Robredo, as well as uh, Presidential Communications Secretaries Colom and Carandang for allegedly mishandling the hostage crisis. And uh, what's your reaction to this? And also, sir, can you elaborate further with regards to the deficiencies you mentioned that you have noted? Um, I would not want to prejudge the investigation that will be spearheaded by the DOJ secretary and will be utilizing the NBI in car carrying out an investigation of the entire incident. Um, can I respond to uh, Congressman Lagman's position? No? He is, of course, a member of the opposition. And instead of uh, perhaps waiting for the outcome of the investigation to, to find heads that should roll, no, he has preemptorily come up with his own decision, and that's to be expected of him. You know, I think it is uh, certain members of the House have already responded to his calls. I don't think there is any need for me to respond to any of his statements, especially given the fact that I think it is uh, perhaps uh, at the inopportune time. Ao Kalika, Philippine Star. Uh, sir, the hostage-taking incident somehow exposed the weakness of the uh, police uh, that we have, of the kind of police that we have, uh, is there a need to ask our neighbors for help for immediate training and more equipment so that uh, they could be more capable instead of them issuing negative travel advisories against the Philippines? Um, any assistance uh, from, from our neighbors, from other countries who are better off than us with regards to the latest equipment, for instance, like thermal imagers, would be very, very nice and would be very welcome. <laughs> Um, let us put it into perspective. Now, there are capable units already, better than what was deployed then. In, when you, let, let us try to remember what transpired. Throughout the day, this hostage taker effectively gave up over a third of the hostages that he was holding. In, he was uh, judged to be on a level basis, at least as far as not being very agitated. He seemed to be responding well to the negotiations until after the delivery of the letter and several phone calls that are now suspect. No? Now, uh, and that um, started the deterioration of the situation. Um, 
in the deployment of an assault team close by was hampered by first the terrain. Yeah. Yung Greeno Grandstand is very, very open terrain, very difficult to conceal a sizable number of troops no? that you would have at the closest point possible. So the nearest that they got were somewhere in the stairwells of the Quirino Grandstand itself. Okay. Now, um, if movement of these troops were detected by Inspector Mendoza, then that might have been a trigger for him to start acting violently. So it had to gain surreptitious entry. The first units that were there were the Manila Police Department's uh, SWAT team, or Manila Police District SWAT team. They would have been replaced by the SAF um, CRG, I think is the name of the, uh, of the group. No? But in, in swapping positions, you would have exposed again the possibility that they would be detected and might uh, negatively impact on the state of mind of uh, Inspector Mendoza. So since there was no urgent call given the release of hostages, given the seemingly benign disposition up to the time that the letter was transmitted, yung they decided to not risk ag further agitating him by uh, shifting the forces in an area that is very, very exposed. Now, as to equipment, um, bear in mind the cost of training and maintaining these forces. No? So I've already discussed this with Director General uh, Versosa and uh, also the Chief of Staff, uh, General David, that uh, both of uh, the units will be organized that will operate on a national basis, but perhaps on a smaller scale so that we can properly maintain them. The training has already been conducted, but the maintenance, the maintenance means you um, ammunition that will have to be utilized on a very regular basis uh, for about 200 uh, personnel for each one. The, the simulations of doorways, for instance, uh, ships, planes, buses, uh, dismantling of those doors in breaching, so-called windows, etc., also have to be taken into consideration. And uh, instead of spreading the resources to so many SWAT teams, no, there will be a principal unit for both the AFP and the PNP who can work together with each other, especially if it's a large-scale terrorist activity, that uh, will have the, the highest capability possible. Celerina del Mundo, Manila Shimbun. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, this early there were ref reports that uh, <coughs> some of those uh, tourists who are planning to go to the Philippines have already canceled their bookings. Um, with this, since the Philippines is banking on the tourism industry as one of the major drivers of our economy, how do you think this incident would impact on our GDP in the remaining months of the year? Well, it will impact negatively. We are hoping it will not have that big a negative impact. And uh, towards that end, I believe that uh, both the AFP and the PNP will be demonstrating their real capabilities you know, uh, within about two weeks' time to include uh, even maritime rescue operations. No. Um, then, of course, uh, that will be up to the Department of Tourism no, to re-engender the confidence of tourists. And if areas like uh, <coughs> Bali, for instance, have managed to recover uh, with a more massive uh, loss of life, I believe, uh, given enough time, we will be able to recover. Joyce Pañares, Manila Standard today. Sir, good afternoon. Sir, can you just elaborate on your statement, the phone call that is now suspect, and uh, are you planning to do any financial restitution to the victims on top of shouldering the hospital uh, expenses?